Yeah. Made the payment. She doesn't want her parents she to know she's here. Please, please, yeah. I don't want my parents she to wake up. Want... Okay, look at. I have an order for repossession hey, what are you doing on both of these. Hey, she's talking oh, to you, man. Hey. Please, please, I don't want my parents to wake up. Okay, look, I have an order for repossession hey, what are you doing? on both of these. Hey, she's talking to you, man. Hey. All right, man. Just, uh, you know, just to reiterate, man, we're going to go see uh, this this attorney. This guy's supposed to be a big shot attorney, man, and any no problems, Matt. Just like we talked about in the office, brother. We good? Yeah, no, no problem. I'm in a good mood today. And how about you, Freud? I got to worry about you? Oh, what? I never got to worry about you. Where yeah, I got to worry. Exactly. Thank you very much. I got to worry about if the attorney's a woman. <laughs> you know? So, uh, I would never do anything. But uh, it's what? <sighs> Mr. Jacobson, so it's probably an older cat. The reason I gave Matt a warning is simply because he overdoes it sometimes. Okay? He overdoes it, um, and it's just not healthy for this business. What, uh, what kind of car are we looking for? <sighs> Check it out, Matt. Tell him what kind of car we're looking for. We are looking for a 280 Mercedes SLK. Yeah, Luke, Luke kind of warns me to um, tone it down a little bit. Some of these delicate uh, repos. Uh, but really, sometimes I don't know why he takes me along on some of these things. Okay, that's our address over there. Okay, so they're individually uh, marked. Okay. Yeah, this is it right here. This is the building. No trash Take shit out of luck, bro. There's a, there's a BMW. Uh, nice BMW, by the way. We're looking for a, a Mercedes like that. Like that one. Like that one. Here, why don't you paint it real quick? That's probably it. You know, we get to this commercial area. We see the car. Floyd and Matt, well, they get out. They've in it. I'm backing up into it. Lou, we own it. Okay. So the That's our car. Nice Mercedes. $100,000 Mercedes. Done deal. It doesn't happen to be open, is it? Hey, that's a quick pins store. Hold on, you got the quick pins. Take the quick pins off. Yeah, these guys forgot to take the quick pins off. Thousand dollar Mercedes. Done deal. It doesn't happen to be open, is it? Hey, that's a quick pins store. Hold on, you got the quick pins. Take the quick pins off. Yeah, these guys forgot to take the quick pins off. Go ahead. Take the quick pins off. Take the quick pins off. Take the quick pins off. $100,000 Mercedes getting sling. Watch out, there's a guy coming Cody in your shirt. Hey, are you, Mr. are you Mr. Jacobson? I'm asking you, are you Mr. Jacobson? I'm from EGA Recovery. Mercedes is up for repo. Okay? I, won't, I don't want any problems here today. This is my boss. Lupus are always you talk to him, please? How you doing, what, what, Mr. Jacobson? What are you doing here? Well, we're here because you haven't made the payment. And what, so, what business is that of yours? I mean... This is the job that we do. Matt, if it's open. What? This is the job with the clothes, bro. Hey, keep your f***ing hands off hey, me, hey, man. What's hey, wrong with sir, you? Do, hey, listen, Matt, Keep your hands off me. Matt, Don't Matt, ever Matt, touch Matt, me. Matt, relax. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, just come back. Don't ever put your hands on me, Calm down, Matt. Hey, Matt, relax. Sir, sir, we apologize. Matt, calm down, brother. Calm down. When I seen the attorney put his hands on Matt, I'm thinking, man, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, man. The problem with Matt is, is that his temper flares like fast. Look it. You don't know Listen, we don't want any problems you with you. Put you your hands on me. Relax. Relax. You don't know what trouble you're in. Well, he broke two of those rules right off the bat. And, and I've told you straight out, um, I don't care who you are. George W. Bush himself does not put a hand on me when I'm going to repo his car. Listen, I don't care what you do. Wait, here, sir. Stop provoking my guy, sir, please. I am you're an not attorney. Not you're touching provoking my car. You're not going to touch my car. No, we have it. This it's is ours. my property. Let me explain to you what's going on, okay? All right? <laughs> This is my car. Okay, sir, sir, listen. Here's the problem, sir. You didn't make your payments. Okay, we're here to pick up the car. That's it. You can deal with the finest company. You can deal with the finest company. We want no problems, okay? Listen. You just cannot touch my car. No, we own it, sir. Legally, it's our car. It's connected to our tow truck. That's the law. I understand that, sir. Listen to me, please. I'm trying to explain to you what we're doing. This is a legitimate job. Legally, we have the right to come repossess it. You didn't make the payment. Do you know? Are you okay? 
I am not okay. I am very far from okay. Do you know that I am an attorney? I, we understand that, sir. Okay. That's what we understand that, okay? Do you know what it is gonna cost you, this embarrassment oh. that you are costing me? No, here? it's not gonna cost us anything. Listen, okay, we have proof here. We didn't touch you, we have cameras. cameras okay, cameras, what the f you you what, push what? my guy, Shh, you stop, provoke hey stop that. Hey back that. sir, Get leave those cameras alone. Get out of here. What? Yeah, he has a right to defend himself. Yeah, if another man puts his hands on another man, there's consequences, man. But I clearly told him, if you can't handle the situation, don't come on the repo. Here's a copy of the order. Here you go. Here, take that with you. Here's a copy. Just give us the keys. That's your copy right there. I don't want it. Okay, all right. That's fine, but just give us the key. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, well, all right, sir, have a good one. Let's go. Matt, Matt, brother, come, stop, stop. It's really easy for them to turn around and try to sue us for whatever reason. I mean, they know exactly the laws. They know that if Matt was to touch him, he can sue us. <clears throat> Matt, do you, you remember the conversation we had at the office, man? Yeah. Before we came down here, I clearly asked you not to touch this guy. And this I guy was an attorney, man. I didn't touch him. You, you pushed the guy. You Did he his not hand. put his hands on me? Yeah, but he's an attorney, man. I, and I'm a human you're being. twice the size and of And I guy, didn't man. put him on his <laughs> Lou. That's right. You, you got the, you got a big, you got a great big pit bull and you got a Rottweiler in a car. Both thinking they're right about something. What do you think is going to happen? There's going to be a problem. I man. told you that. It's got nothing. I, dude, hold it. Before you go. I do respect you, Lou, but you don't seem to have any respect for my personal It's not that I don't have respect, brother. It's that then you're not this is how I support my family. This, this, this is, is how, how I you support my family, family too, Lou. This is how I pay you, Matt. That's right. I can't lose and this you know business, what? man. All I this ever guy's do an attorney. is protect you. And we appreciate your, it. No, you don't. But you're not listening to what I'm saying, I protect your sister. I protect your daughter. I protect me. You know what? This is the love you show for me. Let me favor you. Is this the love you show for me? Get the hell out of church. Is this the love you show for me? Get out and go for it. Fine. 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 Dude, you know what, man? Listen, do my favorite camera guy. Get the hell out of the truck, please. Get out. Oh, I, I need to be by myself. Come on, man. Hurry up. Okay, 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 okay. We keep that respect for each other. We don't go there. But we did get into a major argument about this. And I understand where Lou's coming from. I respect the fact where Lou's coming from. But he needs to respect where I'm coming from. When he's paying my check, okay, then he can act like that. But that's not the case. Yeah, there's a her, her girlfriend's in here. You know, Linda usually doesn't do night repos with us because she works with us and at the same time she goes to school. Um, but Louis called Sonia and called me and said, hey, pick up Linda. You guys are going to be doing a lot of counts and you might need a driver. She's got a, she's got a lot to practice anyway, so take her with you. Sonia, what, 6643. When we rolled up, we didn't see anything going on, so we said, okay, it's going to be an easy night. We're going to pick up the car, we're going to roll out. It's 77. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's uh, 66. Uh, Linda, what are you seeing? 43. Oh, there's a pie in my car. Why don't you drive up to it? Let me check out the plate. I'm going to have to pin it. I mean, uh, pick yeah, it. I'll, I'll get off in a minute. That's, that's our plate. No, but I got to pick it. Okay, you, did you bring your pics already? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go check it out, okay? What? Oh, hi. Elsa? Yes. How are you doing? I have an order for repossession for this car. And I'm thinking everything is kosher, reading the car and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, I get approached by this gal that happened to be in the car. And she's telling me, you know, whispering, in a whispering tone, you know, what are you doing here? I tell her, you know, we're here to repossess the car. You're in front of your mom's house. You know, this is not your bad. And she's trying to be nonchalant and quiet. No. Well, the thing is that I have an order for repossession. I know it's kind of early right now. There's a girl that comes out. I figure, hey, let me go talk to the guy. I mean, they're in the back seat. They're kind of hiding down. They're doing something. I mean, common sense. Who hasn't done that in the car? I know I have. Guilty as charged. Um, but 
The best thing that you did you do was give me the keys okay. for the car. Okay, okay, let's just keep it down. Let's just keep it down and I'll give you the keys and I'll do it. Okay. Let's just keep it down. Please. Okay, um, can you tell me what's going on? Why you haven't made the payment on the car or anything? I just fallen behind. I haven't been working and I just got a new job right now. Right now. And I figured I'm going to go talk to the guy. And as I get out of the car, I go talk to the guy. Hello? It's a girl. It's a girl. And I was speechless. I'm like, Linda, go talk to her because it's a girl. Is there somebody, there's somebody else in the car? Yeah, there's a, a, a girlfriend in here. Can you guys please stay quiet? I'll give you guys the keys for the keys. I don't want to wake up my parents and I don't want anybody else. I'll give you the keys to the car. I will, okay? I right, just let me just take out my the car with my house key because I need to get in there. Please. And obviously Fortin gets off, and he gets off surprised because there's another chicky poo in the back. Now, what are two females doing in the back seat in the middle of the night? Well, I don't know, and I can care less because I didn't see any action that was going to entertain me when I looked out the mirror. The mirror. Please, please. She doesn't want her parents to know she's here. Please. Lisa, I don't want my parents she to wake up. She doesn't want anybody to know. That's fine, okay? You're giving us the keys. We're all okay with that. Explain. Okay. She's going to give us the keys. She doesn't want us to go knocking on the door. Hey, hey, Chango, let's go, okay? We had enough, enough view. You know, I, I think that once both of the girls seen the cameras and they see what's going on, I believe one the other girl, the owner of the car, was trying to talk to Sonia and tell her to please turn off the cameras and, you know, please don't wake up her mom. <laughs> Obviously, maybe her mom didn't know, you know, that she's a lesbian or whatever. I don't really care. I don't really care. It's not my business. My business is to take the car. She was, like, really paranoid. She was, you know what, what are you doing here? I told her, hey, I got a repossession order for your car. I thought it was the guy in there. I'm like, hey, bro, can you? Oops. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> she okay? Wait, 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 wait. I just wanted to smell. What the hell? Smells like? Smells like women. <laughs> and Linda pulled over to the side. You know, Linda says that I got off the car and I sniffed the car. I sniffed the car. That's crazy. Why would anybody do that? I didn't. I didn't sniff no car. I was just, you know, I told Linda, let's go. I didn't even get out of the car. What are you talking about? She's crazy. Why would I sniff a car, man? Come on. That's a psycho. I am psycho. Don't be hating. I'm not hating. I don't need Can you rewind the tape? I want to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 don't be getting in my sister's face either, punk. Okay, we got an order for two quads, right? Yep, we sure do. All right, you know. The only problem is that every time we go to get quads, it's like they're either in a garage or they're locked in some shit. So you know, a lot of times it's just a waste of time, you know? Hopefully these quads are there. But, but, it's a uh, double hitter. OK, so what are we going to do? Are we going to both drive off from the quads? Yeah, we're going to drive all the way to the shop. Of course well, not. Well, that's what I'm saying about, so what'd you set up? If they're there, then I'll call Swift Toe. Yeah, we think we're going to take them because those are difficult. We can't tow them on the truck. So obviously my brother already has planned out scenario. That obviously there's a, um, a tow company that has a flatbed that we deal with that is really quick on the money when we need them, always on the spot when we need them. Yeah, you know what, quads, ATVs, dirt bikes, pretty common, especially just after summer or during the winter. Um, nobody wants to make the payments, you know? They buy them right before summer. They might make a payment or two right into the summer and they park them and they just don't want to pay for them anymore. Yeah, they're pretty common. Let's see. It's the house right here. Oh no, it's this house right here. We got a pair of. Uh... Look at you see that quad up there in the mountain on that hill. Their backyard is hills. Are you, can you? Their backyard is not is Their backyard's a track. Look at that. These guys are crazy. They got a racetrack in their backyard at their track. The guy is riding it. Look at that. 
Okay, so how are you gonna <laughs> get the other guy out? Oh, he's got a helmet. Oh, man, you know what? I'm gonna call Mondo to get over here right now. He obviously calls the guy and tells him, hey, we're gonna need a flatbed here. La, 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 la. We're gonna do this, and he plans what he has planned when it comes to getting them. So obviously now we're gonna go on the property with the truck and hope we don't have any issues, right? Okay, great. I'll see you here. Bye bye. Okay, you know what? He's on his way. Let's go in there and talk to these guys. Let's see what see if we can uh, demand them. Okay. Well, my strategy with the ATV is was this, man, to get there, not give these guys a chance to stop and think. I had to confuse them. I had to move fast. Hey, you got the clipboard? Right here. Hey, this guy right here that's riding, flag him down, tell him to come here. I'm going to jump on the bike and pull it out. Right. The other one's on the top of the hill. Hey! But, but let's wait. Let's go inside the gate and do it. Go ahead. You go first. Flag him like you want to talk to him. Okay. Look, they got a freaking racetrack back here, these knuckleheads. Yo, Mark! Can I talk to you for a minute? Woo! Yeah, how you doing, man? Are you Mark? How you doing? Woo, it's dusty in here. Okay, look at uh, you're Mark, and you have a brother by the name of Brian. Right, yeah. And I'm talking to this guy, we're arguing and whatnot, again, near the gate. Then he calls the brother, comes down, and now I have to explain the spiel to him. You guys are both owners of these ATVs? This is mine. This okay, that was yours. Okay, look it. I have an order for repossession hey, what are you doing, on both of these. Hey, she's talking oh, to you, man. Hey, she's you talking got, to you. Yeah, we got a repo order for We're repossessing it, bro. Why? Okay. Hey, you haven't made the payments, payment. man. You'll get it back, dude. Chill out. Relax, man. Relax. Relax. As soon as I sat on an ATV, legally it's mine. Okay, that's I, so it really didn't matter, you know. These guys. Like I said, they were so confused, they didn't have time to think or plan anything out. And that was the tactics that I used. My brother's pretty fast when he needs to be fast. So he gets on him, shoot, roll. Okay, uh, we okay. want to know what's the situation, why you haven't been paying. Huh? You want to try to pay it or what? It's not right now, man. We paid it. Nah, bro, you didn't pay. That's why we're no, here. We Dude, my it, sister's man. explaining to you what's the deal. Dude, they can't take it. They are not no, taking it. Huh? No, 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 no. We ain't trespassing, man. We'll call the cops if we have to. I didn't want to give these guys a chance to think. I didn't want to give them a chance to talk to someone else on the phone, to talk to their neighbors, because that's when the stuff starts going the wrong way. I wanted to get in there, bam, take everything, just, just like we did it, and the guys were confused. They didn't know what hit them. My foot is in that gate, it ain't going nowhere. He'll have to knock me down with the gate, because that's the only way it's going to close. Let me see the receipt. OK, look it. I'm not taking them away permanently. I'm just telling you that the payment's behind. Hey, hey, so they want hey, us hey, to pick hey, it up, OK? Hey, hey don't be getting in my sister's face either, punk. Hey, 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 but have some respect, hey, all right? Hey, hey, I'm not going to be freaking nice with you guys. Hey, don't be okay, get off hey. me, man. Hey, man right okay, there. tell your brother to get off me. Okay, we'll call the cops. Hey, hey, if you guys, hey, to to if you guys don't off, freaking man. relax. You know, Matt, he can take care of himself. Freud can take care of himself. The men, you know what I'm saying? No, this is our bike. Hey, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to make the payment. If you made it, if you show me a receipt, you'll save yourself the freaking hassle, OK? Hey, Hector. OK? You show, you show me a receipt. You're trespassing on property. I'm not trespassing because I have an order for repossession on this, OK? Hey. Show me the receipt. Hector, don't let that bike get up. Show me the receipt. Hey, show me the receipt, man. Help you, get him. If you show me a receipt, you'll save yourself the freaking hassle, okay? Hey, Hector! Okay? You show, you, you show me a receipt. You're trespassing on our property. I'm not trespassing because I have an order for repossession on this, okay? Hey! Show Hector. me the receipt. Hector, don't let that bike get up. Show hey. me the receipt. Hey. Show me the receipt, man. Hector, get him! Hector! Don't let him get bike.
Yeah, see, here's the thing, man. A lot of people do underestimate me. Uh, sometimes they mistake my kindness for weakness until I have my foot in their ass. Hey, you got cameras on you guys. Hey, he's getting on me. What's hey, man, what, 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 what's the problem, huh? My brother. Yeah, what's your problem? Hey, brother. You better not touch it. I ran up to the guy in the jacket, which was the most boldest one, trying to put his hand on me, and I just went, Bam, what the hell's wrong with you, man? Two against one, what the hell? And I just started getting off. And then my brother obviously says, Ah, you better not hit my sister. I'm not, I'm not. The guy said he's not going to touch me. You know, no, he didn't touch me. He could have, and he would have, and he should have, because I would have just went, Bah! Stupid. Bull. Stupid. Stupid. What are you gonna do now? Checking our bikes, then? What are you gonna They're do ours. now? They're ours. They're our bikes. They're ours. We're gonna get them back. Hope you guys feel better jacking our shit. We're gonna sue you guys. Come yeah, go fight. ahead. We got you. Crack the nail, damn it. You all right? Yeah, all right. I just wanna get the truck out of the way so it won't be freaking close to get on me. Should have pepper sprayed his ass. First of all. First of all, it doesn't matter how I dress. It doesn't matter how I look. This is how I am, and that's it. Yes, they do underestimate, because I could come off nice, and I could come off nasty. It just depends on the situation, how they're going to act. Uh, if they're in a situation, I'm going to back them up as well. But don't mess with my sister. Don't mess with my daughter. Don't mess with my immediate family, because I take it very personal. You know, And you know what? For my family, man, I'll throw this business away. Somebody will get hurt.